Hi, Ken here again, gem nerd. Once in a while we get these incredible gem dealers in from around the world. Well today, we have the opportunity of meeting one of the owners, cutters, faceters, wholesalers of the industry that makes some of the most amazing stuff. Um, one of the stones he's got here today, tell us about this sapphire. Uh, yeah, I'm Chap Rito. I live in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Where did that sapphire go? Uh, this is a sapphire from Sri Lanka. It has an interesting story. Uh, it came out of the same uh, mine area where Princess Diana stone came from. And the miner I deal with there has a big picture on the wall of his uncle presenting that stone to Queen Elizabeth. That was a gift to the queen about 40 years ago. Hers was 16 carats. This is eight and a half carats. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Look, look, at the, look at all the stones he does. Look at the opals and the, they're just insane. I mean, he has some of the most amazing gems you've ever seen. Look at the fire look in at his Look at this face. blue zircon. It is just crazy. Put, put that one away. That one's gotta be for me. I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> I have a weakness for blue zircon. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, Nicole, those are beautiful. It's like raspberry zircon. Just incredible pieces. These zircons are all natural colors. They're from Kenya and Tanzania. The blue zircons are from Cambodia, and that's the only place in the world I see the blues come from. When they, the blues come out of the ground, they're actually kind of a bluish, uh, brownish, greenish color, and you uh, put a little bit of heat to them, and bang, you get this beautiful blue. Just incredible, more dispersion than any gemstone out there is, so cool. Yeah, it has about the same brilliance as diamond. I'm amazed at these opals you've got here too. Yeah, look at some of these. Uh, the, most of these We're opals are from, uh, are from are from Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. Look at the color of this one. As you move it, the whole color is just going around. It's called a harlequin opal when it does that. Say that again. Uh, harlequin opal. Harlequin. When you get the color of flashes moving from one side of the stone to the other. Mm. Incredible. Cool. What's that you got there? Say hi, Cole. How's it going? <laughs> These are the brown zircons. Hmm, I had no idea they came in so many colors. They're really pretty. There's another zircon that is green. Wow. And the only place in the world I see those is Sri Lanka. Wow, look at that green. And this one's sunstone from Oregon. So it's from the United States. He does all the cutting and everything on it. Gorgeous piece. Wow. How do you describe that color? Oh, some people actually say it looks like uh, Andalusite from Andalusia, Spain, with the kind of the orange and green and brown and all over the place. Sometimes in the sunstone, too, you'll get what they call Schiller in it, which this little square one here has, which are microscopic little copper platelets in there, and they line up just perfect along a flat plane. So when you turn this stone just right, all of a sudden you'll get all these little flashes of copper in it. It's way cool like no other gemstone in the world. And that tells you instantly that the stone is from Oregon. Gorgeous. Yeah, amazing. He does a great job fastening too. So you're actually a miner too? No, I, I, at one time I ran a mine, but I don't mine now. I deal with a lot of the miners. So we try to buy the rough stone, and then we add value by cutting the stone. Uh, there are certain stones that uh, we can add value like diamonds. They're pretty much the same price everywhere in the world. But colored stones are very different. I'm, I'm distracted by the sparkly. <laughs> cool, what is that one? Another brown zircon. Another zircon. They call that sunset zircon. What's, what's this one here? That's an opal from Australia. Oh, that was just that. Really strange one. Wow, look at there, I've never seen anything like it. It's got this natural blue background in there with a green jumping out of there. Never seen anything like it. Looks like it has a Incredible. light behind it. Look at that. Wow. That is, that so is insane. Wow. What, what's this one over here that's kind of a gray color? This one here is a uh, tanzanite in its natural color before it's been heated. Oh. Not a cool there's, color. There's green. one after it's heated so you can see the color difference. The difference. Oh, wow. Gray's so popular right now, decorating, and girls are even dyeing their hair gray. Oh, really? Yeah. I know a lot of gray-haired women will be glad to hear that. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, tell, tell me about that. What's that? 
Uh, this is all um, aquamarine uh, barrels, so commonly called aquamarine, but like this would be a green barrel. I bet Ken likes that one. Oh yeah. Do you like the? Trans? I love barrel. It's amazing. And most of this is from Nigeria, and this is all natural. A lot of the barrel today is heated to drive the green out and make it more blue, but this is all natural colors. But that's the name, aquamarine, marine water. Right. That's exactly. It's supposed what to have a little like. bit of green in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so pretty. I, I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick up how absolutely stunning these pieces oh, are. That triangular one, holy cow! I knew you'd love that one. You yeah. like the triangles. And this material, the miner in Nigeria sends me the rock um, in Thailand, and then if I like the rock, I buy it. If I don't like it, I send it back to them. So I have miners that do that, Nigeria, Tanzania, Kenya, Vietnam, Cambodia. So I don't have to travel too much to buy the roof. And his prices are insane. Like this particular stone right here, it's $70 a carat. And it's about five carats. So $350 is what we can sell that for. It's an aquamarine that size, it's incredible. I bet you could design something pretty fantastic. Oh, that. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, today the world's really small, and anybody can travel and buy stones. You can get on a plane, go to Thailand or Sri Lanka or wherever and buy stones. So I really built this business, I've been doing it for 45 years, and I built it based on I can bring guys stones cheaper than they can go get them. Wow. Oh yeah, this is cheaper than we buy them at the big gem shows. This is incredible. Ooh, wow, beautiful. Let's see, cool. Aqua. Look at the cut. Look how you can't see through it. I just look clear down into it and it goes forever. These are also barrel, Ooh. But, but these are Morganite. And Morganite was named for J.P. Morgan. It I did was, not know that. He was an avid stone collector. It was first found in Madagascar. And these are all natural. Probably a, a very high percentage of the Morganite on the market today is irradiated to make it pinkish color, but this is all natural colors. And this is only $60 a carat, five carats, 350 bucks, in insane. Prices are incredible. Look at the these. The cut's really oh, good. Yes, I want that one. Look at that. Yeah, and all these stones we cut in Thailand. Can I ask a question? When they're irradiated to, to, and it changes the color, do, um, why do people do that? It doesn't change the chemical makeup. What, why do people do it that? It will intensify the color mm -hmm. a lot of times. Um, and I think anything is okay with stones as long as people know what they're getting mm -hmm. and the price should be adjusted for it. Mm -hmm. If you irradiate a stone, it should be cheaper than a natural stone. Mm -hmm. And with all of our dealers, we find out all the treatments that are done to them and then we pass them on to a customer. Because a lot of days there's a lot of treatments done to these things. So our customers know exactly what they're getting. And like you said, anybody can travel around the world and buy these things, but it's incredible. Like a friend of mine who, her husband just died here a while ago. She was over in Israel, and so she went to the diamond cutting capital of the world and bought a one carat diamond, um, spent over $10,000 for it. They figured they must have the best deal anywhere. I could have sold her the same stone for five grand. Mm. So when you're over there, you're kind of at the mercy of the gem dealer over there, and the public has no idea what this stuff's worth. But us, we cushion the customer from getting ripped off because we've been here so long. That's a common mistake. Yeah. People think when they're getting close to the source, the price goes down. The most expensive place in the world to buy black opal is in Australia. Hmm. The most expensive place in the world to buy tanzanite is in Tanzania. Huh. So you, you <laughs> don't get a special deal because you're near the source. I really did think that, so I'm glad you told me. Thank you. These are all chrysoberyl. So this is alexandrite. Alexandrite. And alexandrite is a chrysoberyl that changes color. I'm drooling now. So in the sunlight, this will be green, <laughs> and then you get it in incandescent light, it will be a, a purplish pink. This is alexandrite cat's eye. Oh, nice. So it's an alexandrite that has a cat's eye in it. That's yours, that's the And the common chrysoberyl is actually a really beautiful stone but most Americans don't really know it very well. So it's not that popular here, but it's a great stone. It's really hard and makes great jewelry. I love to wear that color. I have shoes that color. <laughs> I really do. This is incredible. 
This is about a just under two carats, and it's four thousand a carat. So it'd be about eight thousand dollars for a two carat Alexanderite. That is unbelievable. Incredible. Yeah, it's I, so I, re cool. I recently sold a six carat that went from green to red, and I sold it to a European dealer for sixty thousand dollars. He sold it for one hundred eighty thousand dollars. How big was it? Six carat. Oh man, I would have loved to have seen and that. And it was loop clean. Oh. Is that more Alexandrite? Alexandrite. This is more of a greeny color. Yeah. The thing the public doesn't realize is when we buy Alexandrites, we'll go through thousands of chrysoberyl and Alexandrites to buy just one or two. Like you look at this one, it's kind of a green color. If you look at this in the different colors of light, it'll have a little bit of color change, but you don't get the purples and you don't get the reds out of it. You're exactly right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, another triangle can. What's that one? Oh, that's stuck in the wrong tray. That's a, I think that's just a garnet in here. Yeah. Just a garnet. It's a garnet. That's gorgeous. <laughs> that's stunning. I love that color. This is so fun. <laughs> oh, it's the thing I enjoy best about my job is, is seeing all this wild stuff. One of stuff. my favorite stones. This is spinel. Spinel. Spell it for us. S P I N E L. The most famous rubies in the world are spinels. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the crown jewels they thought were uh, rubies forever, and then a gemologist came along and set them straight. Until 150 years ago, they couldn't tell them apart, so they mm -hmm. often thought that spinels were rubies. That, that's mine right there. Yeah, look at that purple. Oh. Purpley, grayish. Oh my god, that's pretty. And look, how do you explain that one? It's red with a tint it, of what? It has a little orange yeah. in it. It's actually a very unique stone. A natural spinel. Spinel's kind of got a bad name over the years because they used to make a lot of synthetic spinel and use it in a lot of birthstone rings and all that sort of stuff. This These almost all... looks like a sapphire. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful stone. Purple and it's about as hard as ruby and sapphire too, so it's an indestructible gem. It's a yeah, on gem the hard... you can hand off, hand off to your generations down the road and it looks just fine. The hardness scale, it's an eight. Oh. Um, so it's very hard, very durable. So lots of people are looking for alternative um, stones for their wedding rings and stuff. Mm. So it sounds like that spinel would be a good choice. We're selling a lot of stones now for bridal. Uh, particularly millennials are not buying diamonds, they're buying color. So we're selling a lot of sapphire, ruby, and spinel. Carrot 29, $200 a carat. So it's basically what two fifty, and it looks like a several thousand dollar sapphire. Gorgeous! Just Beautiful. the cut is incredible, and that's one of the things. He's an amazing cutter. When he cuts his gemstones, if you look into the sapphire, you can't see through it. So many of the gemstones nowadays, you can see right through them. And when you turn this sapphire or this um, spinel, you can see light blue, medium blue, and dark blue all coming out of the same gemstone, and it's a real nice hue, a real nice blue. And so that's what you're really looking for. The other thing nice about spinel, it's all natural. There's no treatment to it. And you should see the range of colors. I mean, we've got reddish, oranges, pinks, purples, blues, almost a little bit of green, grays, burgundy. Look at the light jump out of that pink one. Holy cow. We almost get some purples coming out of that, and some yep. blues, and just incredible. Those are showstoppers. $490 a carat, two and a half carats. That is very Too Okay, what do you, what's this one?